It appears you folks like hockey cards. Thank you very much for watching my last hockey card video. You guys seem to really like it. Uh, we have a winner for the autographed Dion Phaneuf card and also for this uh, jersey card with four different pieces of game-worn jersey from former Leafs. Uh, I didn't really say it in the last video, but that's like four different players in the same jersey card is actually not that common. Mark McInnes of Guelph, Ontario, you have won this autographed Dion Phaneuf card and Hunter, sorry I gotta read, Hunter Frazier of Victoria, BC, you got this awesome card that says 2009. This is of course theleafsnation.com, but those cards come courtesy of clutesandchara.com. Please check them out, their website and their store in Kitchener, Ontario. Now time to give away some more. I said it last time, lockout or not, the plan was to go into this season giving out at least one card, one premium card from clutesandchara.com after every single Leafs game because I do videos after every Leafs game. This would be my sixth season. Lockout, I don't care. I would be telling you about the Leafs exhibition game, probably win against Ottawa. I like to think it'd be a win. But instead, uh, I have a question for you. The Ottawa Senators remind me of big surprises. Last season had a bunch of them. The Sens were arguably the biggest, one of the biggest for sure. No one expected them to touch the playoffs and they ended up making it in and giving the Rangers a run for their money. The Kings barely looked like they were going to make it. They got eighth and ended up winning the cup. So given that, leave a comment on this post on theleafsnation.com. If you're just watching the YouTube video, no, you leave a comment there too. But go to theleafsnation.com. And I want what you post to be an answer to this question. Regardless of when the season starts, I don't think anyone really knows when that's going to be. Who is your player that is just going to surprise everybody heading into this season. From a Leafs perspective, I would say Joffrey Lupul was a pretty huge surprise, no? So leave a comment answering that. And by the way, there's a couple different ways to sign up on theleafsnation.com. Don't just sign up so that all you can do is comment. Sign up for an actual account. Register. It's just easier. It makes you a member of the site. And when you win something, it makes it a lot easier to contact you and say, hey, you won something. And I like telling people that, I, I gotta say. So answer, who do you think is gonna be a surprise player in the NHL this year? And what you could win is, <gasps> tease. Courtesy of the boys at Klutz and Chara. This is uh, the Panini brand. This is a game used jersey card of Bobby Ryan. Jumbo, giant jersey patch, black. Well, kids, you can see color, I assume. And it is numbered to 99, it's 42 of 99. That means there are only 99 of these cards in the world. Great player in this league, player on the rise, always rumored to be coming to the Leafs for some reason. Number 299, game-worn jersey card. Just leave a comment on this blog post on theleafsnation.com saying who you think is going to be a surprise player in the NHL this year. How many times have I said that already? You know. And the plan for the season is to usually give you at least 24 hours before the contest closes. I think that's what I gave for this last one. This one will probably end up being less than 24 hours because I have to go out tomorrow night. So the second you see this, go ah and go to leafsnation.com, sign up if you're already signed up. That's wicked. You'll comment faster and someone will be picked at random to win. Game worn jersey, Bobby Ryan. So congrats to Mark and Frazier and best of luck to you on winning this. Like a lockout's gonna stop me from making videos. <laughs> and while you're on theleafsnation.com, lots of new articles talking about new Leaf Jay McClement, uh, Mike Commissaric, Brad Richards, the cattle comments or the barnyard comments or whatever about all NHL players from the owners. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just read it. See you tomorrow or if you're late watching this, see you today.